My name is Sanjay Gupta, I'm a cardiologist in York. Today's video is on the subject of ablations for atrial fibrillation, and in particular, a new type of ablation called pulse field ablation. So today's video is entitled, A Softer Strike, The Future of AF Ablation, Pulse Field Ablation. So today I want to tell you about something that's quietly revolutionizing how we treat atrial fibrillation. And that is a technology called pulse field ablation or PFA. So if you've been told you have AF or AFib or atrial fibrillation, you might already know that one of the main treatment options is something called catheter ablation. Traditionally, this means using heat, otherwise known as radiofrequency, or freezing, otherwise known as cryoablation, to destroy the tiny areas in the heart that are responsible for the abnormal rhythm. And these approaches have helped several thousands, maybe millions of patients. But they do come with some risk. Because when you're burning or delivering heat or cold, heat and cold don't discriminate. They can affect not only heart tissue, but nearby structures as well, such as the esophagus, the phrenic nerve. So this is one of the risks associated with cryoablation, radiofrequency ablation, that you may damage the wrong bit. You know, you're trying to target the heart tissue, but you may damage a nerve or you may damage the esophagus. Um, and that can be a major complication. So researchers are always looking for ways by which more effective delivery of the um, impulses uh, are delivered in, in exactly where they need to be delivered so you're not damaging anything else. Okay, So what is pulse field ablation? Pulse field ablation is a completely new way of doing ablation. So instead of burning or freezing, it uses electric fields, high voltage, ultra short pulses that create pores in heart cells, effectively stunning and disabling them. This process is called electroporation. What is truly remarkable is that pulse field ablation targets heart muscle cells specifically while sparing nearby tissues. This means fewer risks, shorter procedure times, and faster recoveries. Why is this so exciting? Let me explain why PFA is being seen as a, very, as a breakthrough. Firstly, tissue selectivity. It targets atrial muscle cells and leaves other critical structures like the esophagus, the phrenic nerve, the veins untouched. Number two, speed. The actual energy delivery just takes seconds. Number three, safety. Because there's no heat or freezing complications like fistulas or no nerve damage are significantly reduced. Number four, durability. Early results suggest that the success rates may be equal to or better than traditional ablation techniques. So it's like the difference between using a hammer and using a tuning fork. Both can change something, but one does so with force and the other with finesse. What about the data? What does the data say? Well, PFA is still new, but we already have promising results from studies like the Pulsed AF study, which showed Number one, very low complication rates. Number two, excellent success at isolating the pulmonary veins, which is where the AF, which these are where the AF gets triggered, and fast procedures and fast recovery. In fact, it's so promising that many experts believe that pulse field ablation will become the dominant form of ablation in the coming years. Who is it for? Well, currently PFA is mainly being used in patients with paroxysmal AF, AF that comes and goes, where the rhythm disturbance comes and goes of its own accord. But trials are underway to see how it will perform in more persistent cases. It is also important to say that not all centers offer PFA yet. It's a relatively new technique, but that will likely change quickly as more data becomes available and more cardiologists become trained in the technique. So atrial fibrillation can be exhausting physically, emotionally, and mentally. The idea that we now have a tool that can gently, safely, and precisely calm the storm inside the heart is deeply hopeful. Pulse field ablation isn't magic, but it is the most elegant step forward we've seen in ablation in a long time. 
So if you've been told you may need an ablation, it's worth asking about PFA. And if it's not available now, hopefully it should be available in the near future. Thank you so much for listening. I would love to hear your thoughts. All the best.